Hey, I'm Mr. Herman. I'm back with another video. This time we're going to be looking at how to rewrite powers to the same basis. This first example gives us 7 to the 240th and 343 to the 12th power. Well, knowing that 7 is prime, we know nothing can be multiplied by itself to get 7. However, we do know that we can multiply something by itself to get 343. In this case, it is 7. It's 7 to the 3rd. You could use a calculator to figure that out. So we take 7 to the 240th power and then multiply that by 7 to the 3rd times 12. Because this part right here, this 343, is 7 to the 3rd, I just bring down the 12. After that, we can take the 7 to the 240th times 7 to the 36, because 3 times 12 is 36. And then after that, we can multiply with the same base, keep the base of 7, do not multiply 7 times 7, of course, and add 240 and 36 to get 276. We wouldn't actually expect you to find out what that equals. That's good enough on this problem. We'll talk about how we're going to use it later on in some equations. Another example would be this one here. And this one, we can take the 4 times 4 times 4 and try to figure out how many times it equals something, but I don't think it ends up equaling 512. So you'd have to use a smaller base, like, say, 2. So we take here 2, 2 squared is equal to 4, and then bring down the 21, like this. And then 512, we're going to have to use a calculator to figure that out. It's going to be 2 to some power. You just keep going. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And you'll find, if you want to pause it for a second, you can try on your own. And then check it back in with me. And it is 2 to the ninth. And then bring down the 3 from up here. Because 2 to the ninth is 512. And then you'll have 2 to the 42nd times 2 to the 27th. Then bring those down to one base of 2, and add together the 42 and the 27 to get 2 to the 69th. Again, a very large number that we don't need to evaluate. Let's try another one. This one is one we did in class with one of the classes. I thought it was kind of interesting because we did it two different ways. So we can talk about how it can be done more than one way. Let's look at the first way. The first way is to break it down as 27 in the sense that 27 is a root, I'm sorry, a power of 3. So I'd say this is 3 cubed times 49, and this one is, well, how many times are you going to multiply 3 by itself to get 729? This is where you can pause it again if you have to and come back. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is as many times you have to to get 729. And that's 3 to the 6th. And then bring down the 3. So we do 3 times 49 to get 3 to the 147th. And then 3 times to the 6 times 3, which is 3 to the 18th. And then we'll combine those by adding the exponents, and they get 3 to the 165. Again, don't need to evaluate that. We could look at another way to do the same problem, though. Let's consider the same problem. Let's write it out again. This time we'll keep it as 27 to the 49th times 729 to the 3rd. Here we can go with a smaller base, uh, sorry, a larger base, of 27. 27 squared, the kids in the class actually figured out, equals 729. So we can take 27 to the 49th times 27 squared times 3. 729 is 27 squared. Then bring the 3 down. That gives us 27 to the 49th times 27 to the 6th. Then we add those together to get 27 when you multiply to the 55th. That means these two are equal, but we can prove they're equal. First of all, with a calculator, if it goes that high, I'm not sure if it'll go that high or not, you can try. If not, you get the overflow error. Let's actually try right now real quick. I'm curious. Let's see what happens if I put it in. If I put it in as 3 carat. It's not going to work because there's no light in here. Uh, different. Try this one. Try this one. There we go. 3 carat. 165. It does give us a number, so it's not going past that 100, so it does work. So you could check it by subtracting the two like you did in class, or we could rewrite it. Like, isn't this really 3 to the 3rd times 55? And you know that equals 3 to the 165. So now you can see they're actually equivalent without using a calculator. So we didn't need the calculator for very much of this at all, and we're working with very large numbers actually, so it's kind of fun and a little interesting too.